So why did you guys decide you had to take this to the street? The reason we had to take it to the street is because the company would not listen to anything we've done. It's been all one-way dealing all the way through. They've taken everything they wanted. They've changed all the rules, taken away seniority, taken pay from some people up to 50 percent. And they've not listened to any reason. So it's almost like they are just bending the rules the way they want to. Nothing has anything to do with fairness to the employees. They made a major rift between the white collar and the blue collar. They've actually gone as far as to tell the white collars they're more important than we are. When they cut our pay, they left them the way they were. And they did cut their pay 7 to 10 percent. Gave it all back to them just before Christmas. And when they cut their pay, they also gave them back, gave them four extra weeks vacation. So they really lost nothing. Plus they got their pay all back at Christmas time. We had to go and file a complaint with the uh, NRLB, National Labor Relations Board, I'm sorry. And uh, it took quite a while to get that through. When they finally found that there was merit with that, the company decided rather than go through it, they'd give us our money back, but they rolled it into our uh, contract negotiations with two other unions. So we all got to vote, but they two units that weren't affected by our uh, cut in pay also got to vote on it, so that turned out to be a very unfair uh, practice. Well, what... what Precipitated this walkout because you you already voted on the contract, right? So what what, what happened? That, give me an example. Thing, of what happened? This particular uh, strike, as far as we've gone so far, is based on the way the company's dis disciplinary actions on the, uh, the employees. Can you give me an example of, of how, what they've done? Uh, well, they're, they had to go out on strike because of this, but the reason they went on strike specifically was a uh, problem we had inside with a truck driver and some, some railroad crossing and stuff like that. Did they fire somebody, or how, how far uh, they did gave, they go? Gave them 30 days off without pay, which was considered a fairly stiff penalty. Uh, they're also forcing us, I mean, they're underlying matters in the situation. They're also taking the people, and uh, they brought people in at different pay grades, lower pay grades, that they're asking them to make pipe breaks and, and things that are very dangerous to do for people who are inexperienced. Uh, we told them when the contracts and the pay was cut that we would not do things like that anymore. So now they're bringing in people that don't know any better, that are afraid because they don't think they're covered by the union yet, and they're asking those people to do that work. Right, somebody's going to get hurt. It's basically a safety situation. So safety is a big part of it. Safety is a big part of a lot that goes on here, yes. Yeah. It's easy to justify the hours that we work, because we work swing shift, we work weekends. Um, we get some, some of us that are lucky enough to get two weekends off a month, but the two weekends we do work are 12 hours, either 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., or 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. So you miss half your vacation, half your summer, half your time with your children, and then when it cuts your pay 50%, really can't justify that, that schedule. Yeah. Do you, do you think this strike will have an impact on the company's attitude? Uh, it's the furthest we've gone since this problem started. I, I'm hoping that it'll wake them up. Um, to be perfectly honest with you, the people that run our human resource department, I work for some other companies. I work for Troy Built, I work for Electrolux. Um, in those companies, human resources actually worked with the employees and management to help them straighten out. In this company, Human Resources is super company, and the employees are basically afraid of it. Any decisions that are made have to go through the head of the Human Resources. Um, he's a very arrogant person, and he's not well liked here. You have a pretty solid support for this strike in, the, in terms of the unionized employees? Everybody out pretty much? Yes, we've got two unions in here. They're both out. Uh, we've got support from other unions. Uh, this has been very a lot of support from a lot of people. I'm very happy about that. Good. What's your name? Dominic Cure. And why are you guys out here in this freezing cold? We're out here for a way to treat us. They uh, stole our money. They uh, try to break the union. And uh, just their integrity is lousy. They don't know how to treat people. Uh, they try to blame the union. That's, that's what most of this is. They try to break the union. But uh, that's why we're out here in the freezing cold.
It is cold. It's cold. Well, that's right. Yeah. Can you give me a specific example of something they've done recently? Besides cutting your wages, I know about that. Uh, yeah, it's seniority. They, you know, the senior man bids out a job, and uh, somebody's in a building with less service than them, they'll give it to the person with the least service. Uh, they're throwing seniority right out the window. They don't care about seniority. And, uh, that's a big thing. You ain't got seniority, you really don't have any. Right. Yeah. Yeah, stuff like that. You know. A lot of reasons. Dude. A lot of it's just the most of it, the way they treat us. And, uh, big thing is trying to do our deal. Very good, thank you. Yeah. How can I say no? The troublemakers you have died. So, so explain briefly why you're out. Basically, um, on Tuesday there were some issues in the plant involving uh, potential unjust discipline again. Uh, my steward and my chief and my my board were called to an, a situation in, a, in one of the work areas. It was determined that uh, the HR manager was just going to be arrogant and disrespectful like he always is. My uh, chief steward decided to uh, submit a clear docket for uh, strike authorization, which we have already had done. It's basically a, a, a docket on unjust discipline in the workplace. Uh, it went through the step one, two, three. We had our chance. We had our choice to arbitrate or, or strike on it. We got it cleared through the membership a couple months ago, and we moved forward and uh, submitted that docket. And did they think you would actually strike? Uh, we actually met over three, uh, three or four times over a twenty-four hour period with the local management team. Not the, not what we normally do. We actually meet with uh, the business leadership. And this local management team, the same people that we've been dealing with all the time, basically, I think they believed that we weren't going to actually move forward and actually take them out. Uh, I think they were trying to call a bluff on us, and unfortunately, we were as serious as we could possibly be on this one. And what, what, how, do, how many of your members are participating or are walking out? Uh, the whole, uh, the, basically all 100, 650 people walked out at 3 o'clock today. So it's solid in that respect. Yeah, it was pretty much a unanimous uh, uh, effort. I 